Welcome. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. I, I'm not quite at 100% just yet. I got real sick after ECC, and I spent last week basically just laying on the couch feeling sorry for myself. And I'm not quite 100% better yet, but we are going to get back on track this week with reviews and vlogs and everything, and there might be the occasional little <laughs> kind of sniffing going on in this video, so I apologize. But regardless, what we're going to be talking about today is a vapey thing. We're going to be talking about this. This now comes as a kit, and what this is is the Zenith uh, tank, mouth to lung tank, as well as the Chroma A, little Chroma A mod from Inakin. This comes as a full kit. So the backstory on this is I've been using this kit before it was a kit. I got both of these items separately. I got the Chroma A months ago and I got the Zenith months ago as well and they just found their way to each other. These are sold completely separately and I've been using this exact same setup for at least the last, I don't know, four to five weeks. So when Inakin sent me a kit of the exact setup that I've been using that they somehow magically just found their way together, I thought, ah, fuck. Perfect, I've been using it that way anyway. So what we're gonna do right now to get to know this kit just a little bit better is go up close, as we often do. That's right, quick, short, uppy, closey, time, go. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, well here we go. We're gonna take a quick look at this Chroma A Zenith kit from Inakin. Inakin stuff always comes real nicely packaged. Ah, accessories, innovation, inside. Yeah, there's your whole kit right there. Here's your little Chroma A mod. Here's your little Zenith tank. It comes with a spare coil head, it comes with spare drip tips. The drip tips is really where I struggle with this whole setup. I don't really enjoy any of the drip tips that I got with this. The small drip tips and this little raised portion right here is probably my least favorite part of the Zenith, and that's purely uh, a choice based on aesthetics. I think it would be much cooler if this was just flat and if a drip tip sat flush into the tank rather than having this little raised platform for your drip tip. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. These are the two drip tips you get with your Zenith kit. There's a straight one and then sort of, a, you know, what Dwayne called a pretentious one that I actually find really comfortable, except I still really dislike the way this looks on the Zenith tank. Yeah, it just kind of looks, eh, not my favorite. Plug that straight one on there. That looks a little bit better, at least, uh, you know, usable. The Zenith tank itself is really very simple and straightforward. Here's your AFC right here. You can see you have a series of holes that you can close off kind of one at a time. I like it opened up to about two holes, but when Kent was here, he found that the ideal uh, mouth to lung draw on this was one and a half holes. So yeah, you have a little bit of room to get uh, real precise with how you set your AFC there. Nothing clicks in place on this AFC, but it does hold where you want it to. It's It feels nice and firm. It's glidey, but it feels like it'll stay where it is. I haven't had any issues with it. To access that coil head, you're going to take off the bottom and your coil head's just going to pull right out. Not sure if you're going to see that on there, but this is the 1.6 ohm coil head that comes in the tank. And then the spare is a 0 0.8 ohm. I'll just point this out before we set up this tank. Here's how you fill it. It's it's really very, very, very simple to fill up. You just twist this right here and you got a big opening for filling right there. And then you just whoop, close it off just like that. And this is always going to be stainless steel right there. That's never going to go away. Whether you're using the black one or the white one, you're always going to see, boom, stainless steel right there. And now the biggest bummer of this tank, it doesn't get any more disassembled than this. You don't have the ability to take this all apart. You don't have the ability to get the glass out of there. So when you're switching flavors or cleaning this out of old juice and putting new juice in it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer to sort of clean. I like it much more when a tank comes completely apart and I can wash everything out, rinse everything out, rinse out the glass, dry it off, put it all back together, but unfortunately the Zenith just does not do that. And all I do to prime this is I'm going to put maybe, I don't know, three or four, or five, one, two, let those soak in, soak all the way down, three, sure. I'm probably going to do five. We usually do five. Four, let it soak in, and five. Yeah, and we're good. I'm just gonna leave that to soak in right there. I'm gonna put this back in the tank, and we screw the bottom back on, and then we fill it up, and which is easy to do. Open this up, take your juice bottle, bleh, just bleh, just fill it up, just squeeze it and fill it up. Close it up, and yeah, you got a full Zenith tank ready to go. We can plug this onto the Chroma A mod. Yeah, and it just sits on there real nice, real flush. It looks like a full, complete kit when it's all together. The Chroma A, it's a nice little size, man. It just 
fits in the hand real well. I am a huge fan of firing mods with my finger and the Chroma A, it's like it was made to fire with your finger. So on one side, you just have the Inokin graphic. On the other side is your screen. Chroma A has an internal 2000 ma LiPo battery. It can also do wattage and temperature control. I am just a wattage vapor, so that's where we're leaving this. And with a 1.6 ohm coil, I'm actually gonna drop this down to about, uh, I don't know, let's start it off at like 13 watts. And one thing that I do love about the Inokin Chroma A is it adjusts in 0.5 watt increments. And for a mouth to lung, that is just great because with a mouth to lung, I do notice a difference between 12 watts and 13 watts and I and the difference between 12, 12 and a half and 13 watts. It does make a big difference with higher resistance mouth to lung stuff. So I'm glad that the Chroma A adjusts like that. But yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. Just a cool little Chroma A guy all in one sort of uh, mouth to lung kit. The tank is full, the coil head is wet, my wattage is set, 12 and a half watts. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get back out to normal view, we're gonna vape this guy. The Zenith Chroma A combo is just a rad little combo and I'm really glad Inokin decided to make it into a full kit because these two items go together really well. I like holding it, I like using it, I like vaping it. It's a cool small little size that just fits in my hand and the Zenith tank is an awesome mouth to lung vape. I am an old school vapor. I mean, back in 2009 when I started vaping, everything was mouth to lung. It mimics the feeling of a cigarette. You draw on this the way that you would draw on a cigarette. I was incredibly excited to see how good of a mouth to lung vape this little Zenith tank is. There hasn't been a tank since the Aspire Nautilus Mini that I've really loved this much. In fact, I didn't think there would be a tank that I could love even maybe a little bit more than the Aspire Nautilus Mini. Phil and Dimitri have designed an awesome coil head based mouth to lung tank that I truly, truly enjoy using. The vape experience that I get from this is just stellar. The quality of vape that I get from this is awesome. Mm. Good, so good. A few things I really like about this setup, it looks cool, come on, that just looks cool. Black and white is like a classic, timeless combination of colors. It even looks a little bit like stormtrooper-y to me, the way that the black and the white contrast, I just think it just looks very cool. I also really like the size of this, as I mentioned before, it's really cool, it's nice. You just kind of hold it in your hand, it's very pocket friendly, it's very handheld friendly. I also really like the airflow on the Zenith tank, you can open it way up. You can open it way up and almost do a very restricted lung hit on this. And I'm gonna demonstrate it even though I know that I have 18 milligram juice in here. I love that I can adjust my airflow to exactly how I want it, whether that's really open, maybe a restricted lung hit, or whether that's real tight. You can close this down real tight and get a real tight, strict mouth to lung vape. I kind of prefer mine somewhere in the middle. Like I said, two airflow holes on the bottom is basically perfect for me. I also really like the top fill system on this. Even though you have to look at that little slice of stainless steel, it's so simple to just boop, open, fill, Boop, closed, you're good, leak free, mess free. I also like that the Chroma A has some really nice clicky buttons. The fire button is nice and clicky. The adjustment up down, nice and clicky as well. The interface of this device, the screen you're using, it's fine. It's not anything amazing or revolutionary, but it gets the job done. It tells you everything you need to do and you can easily adjust your wattage up and down or switch it from you know power wattage mode to temperature control mode with custom TCRs. Sorry, Sorry, not custom TCRs, just wattage mode and temperature control support for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel, which I never use. I'm strictly a wattage vapor, I like to keep things simple, but they are on here. They are included if you want to use them. But anyway, I'm getting a little bit off track. Let's vape this for a little bit set to music. It's just, it, it's just good. It's just a good mouth to lung vape 
all around. So let's wrap this up. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this? I actually don't know just yet. As of the day of recording this video, this Chroma Zenith kit is not quite for sale yet. Separately, each of these products is about $30, so I wouldn't be surprised if the kit itself goes for around I don't know, 45 to $50? Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Chroma Zenith kit something I would seek out and buy? Uh, that's kind of a little bit, again, more of a complicated question. I really love this tank. I would buy this tank without hesitation because I can rock it on a lot of other mods. I'm not necessarily so attached to the Chroma A that I would need to rock my Zenith exclusively on a Chroma A? And I think a better question to ask is if I was a brand new vapor, is this something that I would seek out and buy? Uh, I mean, yes. Absolutely, without hesitation. 2000 milliamp hour battery, small little compact design, and a stellar mouth to lung vape tank on top of it, done. If I had something like this kit way back in 2009 when I started vaping, it would have made that transition so much easier. It's just a really great flavorful mouth to lung vape. That's something I didn't talk about yet. The flavor, flavor on the Zenith, great. I've got this loaded up with uh, 18 milligram glaze banana. It's a juice that I have been vaping for years and years on end, and it just tastes just perfect in this. Now this setup isn't flawless. It isn't perfect. I'm not in love with the fact that you can't take the tank all the way apart. That's something that really bothers me. I also, like I said in the up close I don't like the little platform that the drip tip sits on. I just wish the drip tip just sat down flush. But honestly, even with the little gripes that I have about this tank or with the Chroma A, it's still, it's undeniable. This is a great starter kit. This is a great mouth to lung vape and I would highly, highly recommend it. I don't hand out banana stickers anymore, but I will this time. I'm gonna give the Chroma A Zenith kit a single banana sticker. I think it is a great, great mouth to lung vape. I didn't think anything could dethrone the Nautilus Mini from my favorite coil head based mouth to lung tanks, but I think the Zenith is well on its way to becoming my favorite drop-in coil head mouth to lung tank just because I absolutely love, love, love the vape experience I get from it. Anyway, that's enough rambling for me. I'm going to throw some links down in the description where you can check this out if you are interested, but yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. It's the Chroma A Zenith kit, and, and it's pretty banging. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.